Hey guys, so this is a day in the life of a C5 quadriplegic. Jack takes my boots off, takes the wedge out from under my knees, and he boosts me up because I like to be pulled down when I sleep. I don't know why I sleep better, my neck doesn't hurt as much. Jack usually gets up earlier than me, and then he'll come in and help me, and I use my phone to set up the bed, which is really nice. The dogs are usually super excited in the morning, except Olive is sometimes really tired because she would sleep until 11 if she could. So this is my morning stretch. Usually I don't even get dressed to do this, but I did for the video. Um, I also do like these push-ups and kind of like sit-ups. I cropped a lot of this out because it's very repetitive, but I will do five sets of 20 usually. Then Jack puts my feet together and I lean forward and I try to get a good stretch like that and I'll lean forward 30 times and then I'll push down on my knees 30 times and then I will lean to each side twice for 30 seconds. And I really, really sped this up because it was super boring. I think I have a full video of this if you want to see it. Then I'll put my legs out straight, get a good stretch for a minute forward and then Jack will help me cross my leg. I'll lean forward for 30 seconds and then I'll twist for 30 seconds. And then Jack will help me switch my other leg and I will do the same thing on the other side. Today I had to change my urostomy bag so we do that in the morning, which is super quick and easy. Then Jack slides me down because this is a really good hip stretch to leave your legs off the edge of the bed. So I'll do that for a minute and then Jack will Put me into my manual chair or my power chair. I am working on slide boarding, I swear, um, but this is how we're doing it for now. So then usually Jack will put my shoes on and then he makes the bed and I'll try to help even though I'm really not that helpful at all. <laughs> Hi. My dogs are so cute and they get so excited when I'm up in my chair. Jack said, throw the pillow as best as you can. That was what I could do. <laughs> it was terrible. Next, I go out into the kitchen. The dogs usually beat me there or follow me. I have my wheelchair brakes on the back of my chair and I literally can never find this one. <laughs> Taking out my dentures. Uh, it's kind of gross how to put them there. Um, well, you have a problem, Houston. Took off the whole cup. Then I will take my pills that I need in the morning, which just help with digestion, vitamin B, and then I eat my yogurt. I'm obsessed with the lime flip cups. That's my favorite. One espresso. Thank you. Then I drink my espresso and Sometimes I go outside, usually I go outside, but it was raining and thunderstorming. I wanted to show you my door opener that I have on this one door that I can use my phone to open. I hate going down this ramp because it's hard to stop yeah, myself. Yeah. Stop me. Almost went right in the pool. And I just recently started pushing out here, which I'm not that good at. This is sped up though. And I'm letting the dogs out. So Jack and I were working on hanging up all these canvases that I got of pictures and I am going to get more because I want to cover this whole wall next to the table. And yeah, so we were just kind of figuring out where we wanted to hang these because we haven't really decorated the house at all. And this is Jack hanging a couple of the pictures in the bedroom, which we're definitely going to get more for the bedroom. 
Then I come into the bathroom and brush my teeth. And I have Jack help me because this toothbrush is frustrating. I'm yeah. getting a new toothbrush that's coming today, so I have to do this because this one's small. Then I brush my teeth and I use these little cups to spit and swish with because it's easier. I can lean forward into the sink though if I want to. Then I put my makeup on. I don't always wear makeup, but I do primer, foundation usually. I was trying random stuff today, like I was trying, um, that's eyebrow pencil, but I was trying some bronzer that I don't usually use. I really wanna buy some new makeup. I don't know, I've been watching a lot of videos and I'm trying to learn how to do like winged eyeliner and stuff, but I did not, I did not try that today. I decide how much makeup I'm gonna do, basically depending on where I'm gonna go. And sometimes I just do it for fun because I want to get better at it. And it's fun to try new things. That's some blush, I think. And then I do, oh, Jack's doing my hair. And then I do some highlighter and some mascara. And yes, my hair is greasy. I needed to wash it, but we put it up in a bun. This is Jack's signature hairstyle. If my hair is ever like this, it's probably Jack's hairstyle. <laughs> but he's also gotten pretty good at helping me wear it straight as well. Not always in a banana. Snap, midday snap. So I do this every day. This is really, really sped up, but it's just range of motion, cardio. You can add weights if you want to. I usually do a lift as well after, but I did not do one today. Now I'm having Jack put me in my power chair just because we are leaving to go to the disability committee meeting and I like to be in my power chair when I ride in the back of the van because I feel like it's just a lot safer and easier for me. But if I have my manual chair, I'll sit in the front seat of the van. All right, and this is us going to get in the van. Sometimes I'll take the headrest off, but I feel like it's probably better to keep it on for the car. Um, I put on a long sleeve because I'm always cold inside. It wasn't really cold outside. It was really humid and kind of rainy. I usually take that pee bag off um, once I get to where I'm going, just because I feel like it's kind of ugly. I always tilt my head because my bun always hits the roof of the van. And now Jack hooks up my chair back here. Um, I switch into my power chair because um, it, I think it's kind of scary riding in the back of the van with um, the manual chair because my balance isn't great and there's no headrest in that. Um, and also like where we're going, we're going to the disability uh, committee meeting and it's very like cobblestone and bumpy and just easier in my power chair. Hopefully I will be driving by next year because I want to get hand controls. I'm just waiting on vocational rehab, which takes forever. Here's the view from the back seat in the middle of the van. So we just got to the disability committee meeting and Jack's unhooking my wheelchair. And yeah, usually it's only like 30 minutes, sometimes 45 minutes. I take my pee bag off just cause I feel like I don't need like the night bag on. Unless I'm, it's like some, unless it's for a long time or if I'm like gonna be drinking a lot, which I'm not, so. So yeah, that's what we're doing. See these bricks, they are so bumpy in a manual chair. I'm telling you it's the worst. But yeah, also I have to go all the way around to get to this ramp, but there is a ramp and there is a button to get in the door and that is 
all that matters. That is so nice that they have that. But today at the meeting, we really just talked about the Disability Expo they're planning for July every year. And now I am going to this place across the street where Jack and I usually get food because we usually have time. We usually go to the human rights meeting an, uh, an hour after this meeting, but we didn't have it today. So we, were, we just got food to go to eat at home. Now these bricks on this sidewalk are much better. I think I could do this part in my manual chair for sure. We just finished the meeting a little bit ago and we just got food from this place right across the street and now we are headed back home. So now we're back home and I wanted to say that basically my days are different every day depending on what I have for doctor's appointments or therapy or what I do for workouts at home or what I have for work or school. Now we are home and eating and working on some stuff for the 10% app. Jack and I are just working on stuff for the 10% app, trying to get um, a lot of nonprofit resources. So we've been doing that for a couple hours. Because of what we had to do, I feel like the schedule was weird today. I usually stand a lot earlier. I'll either stand or do my stim bike. I'll choose one, try to switch it every other day. This is my tilt table. It's also on a vibration plate. It's the best thing ever. I'm still working on standing all the way straight because it's scary, but I can control it myself with a controller I have around my neck. And it's literally the best thing ever. I love it and it helps my spasms so much. I don't know, I'm obsessed with it. I hate, hate standing frames. So I just stood and now I'm having grapes and Jack and I are usually in bed by now or getting ready for bed, um, but we're just working on stuff for the app a little bit longer and then we're gonna get ready for bed. So then I brush my teeth and I wash my face. I was so tired, like I, Usually I'm in bed by this time. I want to say it was like 10 p.m. I was exhausted. After this, I do my bowel program, which I just do an enema, and it usually takes 20 minutes. So Jack transferred me in bed, and basically he'll just put my boots on for me, and I put my arm brace on, and that is it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>